go ahead and get started. So hi, uh, I'll do the introduction again. This is Tanya Gibbs from Psycho Mom Scrapbooks and More. And uh, um, I hope that you guys are all followers of mine. Uh, if you're not, go check out my social media uh, links at psychomoms.com. Uh, welcome to the show tonight. We're going to do a layout. I uh, have zero, zero plans for tonight. I mean, like, we're just going to wing it, Tanya style. So um, this will be like the total ADHD moment that I have when I do this real time. So hopefully we'll get through this project with little or no um, chaos. So I often get asked, how do you start? Where do you begin? What do you do? So that's what we're going to kind of do tonight. I always start with a blank canvas. Uh, I'm not going to put this down because my camera will not focus as long as this is in the frame, mostly this color, because it has problems with the whole black and white thing. But um, this is how I prepare. I generally pull out a piece of scrapbook paper. Um, this is just heavy card stock. Uh, it's just a, it's a light gray color. Uh, typically, I think I would do white. These are some old alphabet letters that I have had in my stash for a long time, so I'm going to use those and get rid of those. Uh, I've got my pictures ready, my cute nephew Gage, and this particular layout, it's rare for me to do more than one photo, but I've printed out three smaller photos, but they really kind of tell the story, and I'm not sure... I'm not going to start with a sketch or anything, so I'm not sure where I'm going to go with this, but um, hopefully before the night's over, it'll make perfect sense. <laughs> so there's my photos. This was his first real egg hunt where he understood what he was doing. So that's always um, a fun event. Now, if anyone, uh, if I ask later in the show what I did with the pictures, I'm going to put them over here, to, say, on top of the blue box so that um, I don't lose them or get anything on them. Okay, so I've also pulled out of my stash some, this is some uh, canvas twill tape from Prima. I've had it for a long time, it's time to use it up. I don't know who makes these flowers, but they're just generic little daisy stem flowers. I thought these were perfect for Easter, so I had quite a few of them. We're gonna use those up tonight. And I have no clue where they came from, guys. They were in a kit at some point. So I'm not sure, but aren't they cute? So I'm going to encourage you guys, this layout is about using what you have. I pulled out some pearls, not sure if I'll use them. Got some washi tapes out. Nice Easter colors. Um, some little roses just to give a variety to the flower collection. I've got a little stamp here. Uh, I found this, and it has little kids on it. I don't know if I'll use it or not, but they're in here. Um, a little piece of this tape from Tim Holtz. I have a couple of these uh, light bulbs from Primo. This one says family. This one says moments. Um, a little love charm. I have some. Um, this one says memories. It's just a metal piece. It says memories. It's been in my stash. So that this is what I do. I typically kind of go through my room and just sort of pull things out. Some of this may not get used. Some of it might get used. I've also got my stencils handy. I've got my, this is an, from an old kit. If you've been following me for a while, uh, this was a July or August kit from last year. I'm totally winging it tonight. So, guys, whew, this is scary, actually, for me. Um, I've pulled out a couple of stencils from my stash. I've got my, I've got a little fence hexagon. I thought that would be a nice little Easter one. This is from Tim Holtz. It is the honeycomb, and then this one is from the Crafters Workshop, and this is the mini texturized stencils. Um, nice variety of things here I thought would be fun to use. So I have those. I've pulled out some Lindy Stamp Gang. Um, these are the Tray Chic in the, on the Boardwalk collection. Uh, these are the Flat Fabios. Uh, I've also pulled out some of these Tim Holtz rub-ons because they are nice spring and since you know I think everybody's gonna be able to find inspiration for Easter pictures for little girls but it might be hard to find some good inspiration for boy layout so I thought maybe that would be a fun thing for us to work on tonight I have some gesso I have all my mediums over here if I need them whip spackle gel medium that kind of stuff also pulled out I have some uh, glass glitter here that is green 
you guys remember this from Christmas I thought it would be fun to use that tonight uh, I have some mica flakes and I also have some micro beads over here my gelatos my stampers big brush artist pens and my prima chalks and I've also pulled out when I get stacks and stacks of um, d of, of um, scraps I go to cutting uh, die cuts so I've pulled out my stash of die cuts here so who knows what might make a debut um, and then I also have my Lemore Weber designs and indigo blue stamps handy so that's what I've pulled out so far now that's not to say that I won't be jumping and running for something better but um, I just thought tonight would be a fun night for you guys to see a little taste of my process and what I go through so I've also pulled I've got this is my box of goodness that sits on my desk so I want to go through it and just find out some Easter color scrap papers that I have in here um, I typically like to hide my journaling so I might pull out a tag or two um, here's some just some fun Easter color things I don't know I might not use them but it's nice to pull them if you have them uh, just to have them handy and oh that's a good color remember this from our Christmas show never got used let's use it tonight um, <laughs> anyway you guys get the idea uh, I don't know if something else strikes me I pretty much know what's in this stack so I can always come back to it or reference it oh how about this this looks fun doesn't it remember that we did this one live too so anyway you know this is this is my process this is what I do I sit here and I go hmm wonder if this will work hmm wonder if that'll work and I just pull it all out because it's nice this is a nice piece of texture I don't know maybe some stamping okay so let's go ahead and get started we've got a lot of things pulled out and I don't want to overwhelm myself with too many products but as you can see I've really not spent any money on tonight's project this is mostly all stuff left over from kits or um, previous classes that we've done so anybody have any questions this is a pick Tanya's brain hour if we don't get through with the layout then I'll post the I'll post a process video showing the end of it but I, I really kind of wanted this to be a little low-key and just you guys ask some questions if you have them there's no plan no rhyme no reason Does that that sound great does this sound fun or does this sound like oh dear I'm in for it tonight <laughs> okay so to start with I like to do all of my wet mediums first on a layout like this so since I have a little boy I thought this might be fun let's use this fence uh, this is from fab scraps and again it was in a kit that we sold back in I don't know um, February no it was June or July excuse me this is called the wired border and um, I'll put a list of all of the products that I end up using I'll put them over on my blog tomorrow as a recap so I don't want to use all of this but I do want to try to stay within this region of the photograph and within here and maybe build out a spray horizontal so I have a, the majority of it occupying this third of the layout and then this just being an overspray area okay so the fencing I think I want to keep it I want to keep a kind of circular motion here so I think what I'm gonna do is just rip it and see what I get because I really think that's where you get some really fun things is when you just kind of go for it I'm just gonna rip it up now all these pieces I will save they will stay in my scrap pile and I will use them up no worries there so I have this nice interesting thing to build off of uh, platform and then I think the next thing I want to do is really come back with oh I have this uh, drywall tape I know this has been very popular in the mixed media arena um, I'm gonna rip off a section of this because it kind of reminds me a little bit of of a basket weave and I think when I start applying my color it's going to be fun but I don't want it to stay the same so I'm just going to rip it 
and what happens to it happens to it. I'm not going to try to preserve it in any way, but I think I want to have it create my horizontal lines going back this direction. Okay. So you guys let me know if you have any questions. I'm just going to dive in because this is a race. I want to see if I can do a layout in an hour, which we got started late. So um, I want to be done by 10 p.m. at the very latest. And I think we can do it. What do you guys think? So please, 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 if you have any questions, ask as we go. This tape is um, sticky on one side and not so sticky on the other. So um, it'll make some for some really interesting horizontal lines. I'm just cutting it freestyle. I'm not trying to pay too much attention to a pattern or anything. I'm just getting some texture down. Did everybody have a nice Easter? I had so much fun. I, my baby, I got my baby fill in this week. I mean, the cuteness was so overwhelming in my household. I'm sure it was in yours too. There's just something about the, all these babies dressed up in their Easter outfits, hunting eggs. And, um, you know, um, my favorite, my personal favorite was one of my nieces was telling me the real reason for Easter was that Jesus was, was for Jesus. And I was listening to her tell the story and my eyes were just, oh, I spent the whole day crying because it was just the sweetness was so overwhelming. It was so awesome. She was telling me about what happened in her Sunday school class. And it was just so fun to see, um, see all of the enthusiasm. From our youth okay so there I like I like that see it's already getting this masculine look you see this guy's the texture Isn't that fun grandchildren in your art room that how could it get any more perfect than that right okay so now I'm gonna pull out this twill because this is gonna give me an even another texture. So I'm going to cut this into a little flag, I think. I've been like so overwhelmed lately. For those of you who didn't know, I moved into a new house. So last month, I apologize for not broadcasting, but I was moving and it was very um, stressful around here. <laughs> I didn't even know where anything was. It was crazy. It looks like I'm going to use all of this up, which is awesome because I just love it when I can use things and finish them off. For those of you who have never followed me before, welcome to my channel. Um, I am a big time advocate of if you buy something new, you will also use something old on my show because I believe you should always use what you have in your stash. Um, I really, really believe that we buy these products um, the companies want to see us using them they want to see that that we enjoy their products and and um, if you hoard it a true hoarder will use the item on something they plan to keep themselves that's what I always say because you know what next year they're just gonna make more awesome things and you're gonna miss out because you're gonna be overwhelmed and your rooms gonna be overrun and if you use it then you're less likely to feel guilty about it. I'm having a hard time getting the, this uh, twill tape has uh, adhesive on the back, so I have to remove that backing. Now, here's the thing. I'm not even sure if um, I'm going to cover most of this up. I might, actually. If y'all hear a lot of laughter going on from the other room, my husband and my son are in there watching. Um, a TV program and this house is a little smaller than my my last home so we can hear everything in here but I love the sound of laughter I love to hear the two of them in there bantering back and forth and um, laughing and carrying on so are you guys ready for school to be out I know oh, that didn't go on straight I know I am I am so ready for summer. How many of you are still? Make room for the new stuff. Hallelujah. This is a woman after my own heart over here. Um, 
I'll be honest with you. I don't like, um, I mean, some people are like, oh, man, you're always using this old stuff. Well, I'm not using old stuff. I mean, there's nothing wrong with any of it. We, You know, we bought it. We need to use it. But um, I feel like if I just always buy new stuff, I'm never going to, I'm going to get overwhelmed. And I just like to have all of the, I just, I just, I love to buy, but I love to have a reason to buy. And I can't, I can't justify it if I, um. I'm constantly just spending money. So what I've done is I've built myself out a, a base here. I have a lot of texture. I have this grid. I have this grid. I have this uh, cloth texture. Um, I think I might use a little bit of this washi tape. It may or may not hold. I don't know, but it's worth a try, right? Um, let's put some of that there. Maybe break it off. And then maybe put, and notice what I'm doing. I'm trying to fill in and um, put things where they look like they kind of are purposely put there. They're working together, uh, cleaning up the lines a little bit. Wait, I don't want that really close. Um, maybe down here. And maybe come in to about right there. And then maybe let's build up one more right here. Does anybody have any questions so far? And like I said, I got no plan. Who knows where this is going to go? I'm really not sure. <laughs> um, okay, let's go ahead and add a little bit of gesso to this and, and sort of make everything kind of come together and work nicely together. Um, but I don't want a complete coverage of gesso, so what I'm going to do is take my palette knife here. This one's almost empty. Uh, and this is the gesso from Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft. And I'm just going to kind of roughly, uh, you're really going to see that blue on there. But I'm going to, um, on this on this paper backing, I'm just going to roughly add it. I don't want a lot of it. I don't want to completely saturate. I, I want it to look boy, messy, grungy, fun, okay? But this is going to kind of help to knock all these elements back and make them work together. And while I have this out, look at how messy that is. This, the netting looking stuff, this, this is drywall tape. I'm also going to add some gesso to this. And notice I'm not completely covering it. I'm just going to hit it in some spots because when I go in with my my wet mediums, that's going to um, allow it to soak into the chipboard. So I'm going to get a variation in color. So I'm going to put that off to the side and kind of clean up my work surface a little bit. I got mine at Lowe's. Actually, <clears throat> don't tell my husband, but I kind of stole it out of his garage. Um, but I know he got it at Lowe's. But yeah, you can find it. I think you, they have it at Walmart in the hardware section. It's not very expensive, and I have had that roll for ages. Yeah, you could probably just rob your husband's stash of a little bit of it. You don't need a whole lot of it. Okay, so now we have that done. Let's, um, you guys like where it's going so far? Let's add a little bit of um, color. Let's come back with, this is the Flat Fabios. This is from the, on the board, under the boardwalk collection. And this is Pop Rock Purple from Lindy Stamp Gang. I'm going to go ahead and I think I really want to leave, leave that. I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue on my fence. And notice I'm just staying towards the center because uh, I like to tuck things. So if you add glue everywhere, you're going to have a difficult time with tucking. And I don't want that to, I want that fence to kind of be this way, I think. Look at how fun already. Um, actually, I may want to pull it back out this way just a little bit because I want to put my pictures here and I want this peekabooing out for sure for show sure. do a little more glue 
Now matte medium is probably, or gel medium is probably the two things I'd really rather use than hot glue on this um, because it will stick a little better. Um, but I don't have time for all of that to dry tonight really. So I'm going to hope for the best here. As we work through it tonight, it's not going to come up ever. Okay, so this is what I want to do. Uh, I've seen that a lot of people use this technique, and I thought it would be fun. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Um, I'm going to spray this onto this piece of packaging. This is the packaging from the fence. And then I'm just going to kind of lay it down and splotch it around. Look at how organic that looks. So fun. And I'm going to just keep splotching until it's all down. How fun is that? Now let's, uh, before this gets muddy, i got some paper towels back here. Um, I'm going to wipe this up because I don't want it to get muddy. And it has a tendency to get muddy if you mix all these colors together. Since um, I used purple first, I do not want to use the green or the yellow, excuse me, it'll make brown. So um, I'm going to use the pink and I'm just going to spritz a little here. This is the Raspberry Lemonade from the Under the Boardwalk collection from Lindy Stamp Gang. And yes, it is okay to use pink on a boy layout. Okay, so don't be afraid. This is Easter, and there's lots of pink around everywhere at Easter time. My son wore a hot pink shirt yesterday for Easter. He said real men can wear pink. So look at that. Now all of a sudden, I've gone from blah to fun. Look at that. How fun is that? Okay, so let's take some green. And this time, instead of um, blotting it on that way, let's try and get a different texture. Let's just spray highly concentrated right here in the center. Again, this is where my my um, this is where my photo is going to be. So it's going to be this pop of really rich color right here. So I'm going to lift it back this way and just let it drip. And if it doesn't drip, no worries. Make it drip. <laughs> just keep adding it. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing coming back this way. Notice I'm maintaining my horizontal line. Okay. How fun is that? Do you like? So we're totally creating our own look. So we're totally, totally creating our own look here. So I'm going to go ahead and start drying this. Does anybody have any questions? Oh, and before I start drying it, let's dump. Um, let's, mm, can I do it yet? Let me think. Hmm. Let's put a little bit of this in here. This is, oh, the, the, um, the green that we used was C'est La Vie Cerie, and this is Lindy Stamp Gang. This is the Trace Sheet from the Lemore Weber Collection. And then this is from the Trace Sheet Collection. This is Bonjour Butter. And again, I'm just going to kind of put a little bit right in here and a little bit right in here and splatter it around. How fun. Do you guys like it so far? Okay, now before I get this everywhere, I'm going to put it down here in the trash. I can always pull it back out if I need it. And the next thing I want to do is, um, let's go ahead and dry this up just a little bit while we talk about the rest of it. Anybody have any questions? It's so organic, and you know what I really love about it is... It's not a paper collection, so this is unique. So every single thing I do to this is going to be uniquely me. It's going to never be anyone else. Will No one else will ever be able to say, you know, oh, I can, I can do that. Because even if you follow what I did, yours is going to look completely different. 
Isn't that cool? And all I've done is, is just add a few swipes of texture. That, I mean, that's really all I've done is just add texture. Isn't it fun? And look at all of that. And there's no sparkle in this whatsoever because all of these mists are flat fabios. And a flat fabio with the Lindy Stamp Gang, for those of you who have never used their products before, um, just to let you know, the flat fabios have no shimmer in them at all. They are actually just straight pigment with a white undertone. So they're a little more opaque. They're not quite as translucent as the other sprays are. But they have no shimmer. So they're flat. Hence the name Flat Fabio. So I just want to make sure that's really good and cleaned up. Look at all of that luscious color. Isn't that fun? And it just screams movement from side to side. Okay, now, I don't want to make too much of a mess of this because um, there is, look at all the texture. So fun. Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm dying here. It's so fun. Look at this. Okay, now let's see if I'm staying true to my photograph here and the colors in my photo. So this is my little nephew, Gage. Isn't he adorable? Look at that, how adorable he is. He, this was his first real, like, egg hunt. He may have hunted eggs last year, but I don't believe he knew what he was doing last year if he did. So this is kind of his first hunt. And I, I think what I might do, I originally was going to do these up like this, um, but I think what I might do is put them like this. Like maybe here he found it, here he has it, and here he's running with it. Like that. So we keep in that linear fashion of going this way. What do you guys think? So there's our layout. Now it's time to build out some fun colors. So we have all these pieces of scraps that we pulled out. Um, may or may not use them. I just really don't know. I don't like that color tone. Um, I think I like where I'm going with this without all of that. So let's just keep going. Uh, let's take, I really want to add a little bit more, I hate to say this texture, but I really want more texture. So I think I'm going to take these rub-ons. Is this dry enough for rub-ons yet? No. Hmm. Let's see. See, this is what I do. I sit here and I go, hmm, I wonder. But I've really got to get this good and dry before I can attempt to rub on. So does anybody have any questions? The fence piece came from um, Fab Scraps. And uh, it's pretty awesome, isn't it? Somehow I had a piece of tape on there and it just peeled off, so I'm going to just spritz another, I don't want that to stand out too much, so I'm going to spritz another little bit of that yellow on there. I don't have much in the way of um, embellishments to go on this. I haven't really pulled that many out, but I guess before I get too crazy with um, too many details, I need to... You know what this reminds me of is Easter egg coloring, doesn't it? Like dying Easter eggs. And I think I really want a little bit more color in here. So I think I'm going to just come back with this pink and just kind of blot it around a little bit. I didn't want that to stay too white. What do you guys think? So fun. So, for those of you who are new, I broadcast once a month, the first Monday of every single month. I'm here and available for questions or what have you. Okay, so, let's see here. I have these rub-ons, and you know, um, I don't know, I don't really know, I don't, I, you know, I think I'm just going to be free with this. These are made by Tim Holtz. These are called the Botanical Rub-Ons. Um, I think I, I really like the Butterfly. But I'm not going to be super careful. I think I want to... When I cut these... I think I'm going to cut around this bird. 
just like this. And cut around like this. I'm going to keep those back to the side. But I want to be strategic with where I put them, realizing that I don't want to cover up too much of um, my um, where my photographs are going to go. Uh, so I really want to kind of pay attention to that placement. And I really like this butterfly. I think I'm going to place him kind of right here. Maybe right here. And if it if if the others happen to rub off and get on there, I'm not even going to sweat it because I'm going to use this whole section before I'm done today. But this little pop of black is really going to help this layout to have a little bit of contrast and interest. But I do want this guy to come out completely. He's sticking to that gesso that's under there. I don't think it's completely dry. I may have messed him up. Sometimes if, you, if you're careful and you pull it from a certain direction, they'll just kind of lay down like that one did. And isn't that cool? That little pop of black. Now, if I do it over here, I'm going to come over here. And do it as well. So I think I want to keep wonderful life right here. And I like those stars too. So I'm going to let those go there. In fact, let's just do this whole section right here. Try and keep those birds up. And remember, I have a lot of texture going on back here, so they may or may not stick to some places. They may be completely imperfect, but again, this is where my, my photos are going to go. So honestly, you're, it's probably going to get covered up, most of it anyway. But I really love how the unfinished text looks there. So I'm going to come back over here, maybe. I don't want those birds there, so I'm going to cut them off so I don't accidentally adhere them down. Just put them over there for now. But see how the text is all broken up over here? I love that. I love all that texture coming from that. So I'm going to repeat that over in this area. Coming out here. Just be free. Don't worry about whether or not it makes sense. Because it, it really, I think, part of the charm is the actual the fact that it doesn't make much sense you know I do want this L to go back over here with wonderful life so it makes sense and I don't care if it's cracked I'm not gonna stress it but I do want it to go down it's stuck on my fingernail <laughs> I am a terrible, terrible, terrible hoarder of all things um, Timmy. So for me to use these is amazing. Okay, so let's keep going with this. Um, I really want these to go down. See, it says so precious. And he was so precious. I'm going to put some of these, um, some of these um, plants over here too. Maybe the bee. Oops. That didn't work out. <laughs> They're not staying. They're not staying because this is wet. But that's okay. I'm going to make them. This is real life. Non-planned. How are we doing on time? We got plenty of time. No sweat. We got this. We got this. Look at that. Look at how fun that is. It's already super cool. Um, I may want to save the rest of these for after I get my picture down because I want to maintain my horizontal lines, but I also 
want to make sure I don't cover up where my pictures are going to be because I, I don't want to waste these rub-ons. I really want to use them and I think um, if I'm not careful I'm going to mess them up. So let's put those back up there for now. I'm really loving where this is going. Are you guys? Now I want, I kind of have a circle shape going on right here and I think I want to keep with that. So I have this twine here. So I'm just going to kind of freely pull out some of this twine. Keep it very organic. You guys liking this so far? This is the twine from May Arts. Um, you can pretty much find it anywhere. So I'm going to take and just kind of make these loops. And it's going to try to curl on me and that's okay if it does. Um, but I really want it to be big because I want it to encompass all three of my photos because it's just going to kind of help to bring your eye back up to where these photos are. Okay, um, I'm not going to put it down yet because I want to see if that's if that's right first before I try to do that. This is a super popular trendy thing to do right now. Um, again, pulling out my photos. Uh, if we keep here here. Let's see. I, I even like it up like this and maybe right here. I've covered up all of that fencing, which is what I did not want to do. So let's try again. Let's come back in this way. Maybe one up and one maybe do them I think we go back to my original plan of putting them here, here, and here. So we still see the fencing. What do you guys think? And I think I'm even going to pull some of this fencing up. Remember I didn't put any glue on it. I'm going to pull some of that fencing up so that it is layered. I could pull these up like this. And I can put my title across here. That's what I'll do. Okay. Um, or I can pull it down here and come down into this negative space a little bit where I can see the fence at the top. So which do you guys like? I like it like that, I think. Because I like that it descends down into this other area, but I can still see a lot of that fencing going on, but this rough edge of the fence is covered up. Okay, do you guys like this? I can even keep a little bit of a gap between them. Remember, we still have a little few, a few flowers to add, maybe some um, metal pieces. Which do you guys like? You like it like this? Now I have no plan. We're just going to go with whatever. So um, if you guys got an idea or you see something I don't see, let me know. I love this. What if we mount the pictures right onto here? Hold on a minute. Sometimes we may just have to make a commitment to some things because otherwise they just get in the way. Now another option was instead of doing a circle I thought about this. Just kinda taking this stuff and just kinda widen it up like this and just dropping it. Actually I think I like that better. No plan because that gives that gives a lot of organic movement right there doesn't it? Oh I like that better. You guys like that better? Yes. I'm getting a lot of yeses. Yes. Okay so then let's go ahead and add a few drops of glue so it doesn't go anywhere. I like the mess. The mess just sort of fits with what we're doing here. Okay. Now, I have this guy, and I like how it kind of pulls some of that yellow back up to the top. And this was a, um, this was just a tag that I had stained, probably mopped up some of the stuff that was on my desk. Um, and maybe if we drop it down just a hair, Put it here. I think I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and commit to it. This is how you get something done fast. You just go with it and then you fix whatever goes wrong later. <laughs> Do you guys know? Okay, now I'm covering up a lot of that fence. 
but no worries I still have more of that fence I can always put some I can always tuck some back in later if I want to but I like how that gives my photo a nice base um, and I think I might want to actually take my photo I have this color it has a little shine to it and it sort of pulls out the oranges from the eggs and since it has a little shine to it I think I might actually want to mount my photo onto this this is just a piece of scrap paper um, it was colored up with something that got this too no that guy just isn't going to get used tonight um, yeah so this was just a um, piece of scrap Uh, and I love layers like this, you know, just adding a few here and there. And I, I really, I think that's what I want to do. Okay, so to give this a little bit of depth, I have also got um, over here somewhere. Where did I put it? I have some pieces of chipboard right here. So this is my new thing. I'm no longer buying pop dots or 3D dots. I'm just going to take this chipboard. I'm going to use it um, to kind of help elevate my elements. And it's going to give it a little bit of stability as well. And then... And I'm not concerned that this is not cut straight. Does not matter to me. I think it gives it a little bit of character if it's not cut completely straight. Especially since this is supposed to be like a mixed media thing. How you like? You like? Let's put just a dab of glue right here because again, I may want to tuck something in behind it or around it. And... Um, Oh wait, didn't I say I wanted to go? No, we ended up abandoning that. Never mind. Let's put this here. Okay, and then we're going to add a little bit of this. Anybody have any questions? Keeping it consistent, because I think consistency and chaos will help for things to kind of work together. Uh, so if I did... For example, if I used this color on one photo, I am going to use it on the other photo as well so that they stay consistent. Does anybody have any questions? You like it? Look at how shiny that is. Oh, love it. And this is totally free. Like, we are totally just letting go and going with it. I don't have a sketch. I don't have a plan. I just kind of, for those of you who just joined us, I just sort of jumped in and said, let's, let's make something fabulous tonight. And I've, I've not, this is Tanya just thinking off the top of her head. I'm not in here with any sort of agenda or plan or anything. Some people ask me where I print my photos. I print them at home. I have an HB um, inkjet printer for printing my photos. It's an HP OfficeJet Pro 8600 and I absolutely love it. And no, they did not pay me to say that. Um, I also have a little Epson Picture Mate. I like it as well. Um, but I just print my photos at home. Okay, so we're going to put this one maybe right here up a little bit. And then this one maybe right here coming down a little bit. We may have to move this guy over. Just a hair. It's in the way. Are you guys having fun? You learning anything? Now realizing I have an awful lot of spray going on up here. I may come back and add a little bit of, of some texture down in here because my photos are extending out a little further than I had originally intended for them to expand, but that's okay. This is called us going with it. Let 
making it work. So, um, I love that we are creating a boy layout uh, without um, a whole lot of fuss here. It's mostly wet mediums. I mean, if you really think about it, we haven't really created a whole lot of... Um, We haven't put a whole lot of embellishments on here at all. So I noticed that this photo needs a little bit of thickness. So again, I'm just taking some chipboard. I'm just going to glue these two pieces together. And I need to trim it up just a bit. And pull some of this... Uh, twine down so it kind of hangs down a little bit and then I'm going to put this right in here just like that total upcycled now before anybody gets on me about acid free this chipboard's not acid free and you're killing your photos well uh, it's digital digital is not my only copy it was printed on my inkjet printer so I'm not stressing it I'm just not going to stress it. Oh, that's on that. Okay, that's good. So here's what we have so far. you got the peekaboo of the fence coming out up here. See it? Little twine. It's a screaming little boy to me. Just love it. Okay, so we've got our pictures in place now. We don't have to worry about that. Let's go ahead and continue on with our um, embellishments. We've got this Tim Holtz film strip piece here. So I'm going to cut it into a flag. And maybe a little bit of hot glue there and maybe tuck it in right here. How fun is that? And then on this one again, and I'm just using up some scraps. You know, guys, just go through your scraps. I'm sure you have some things laying around that um, would work for you as well. How are we doing on time? Oh, we're doing fantastic. Okay, because we're almost done. I'm, I'm, I'm liking where this is going, so I think this one I might want to put kind of low. What do you guys think? So we have it offset here and here, and notice I didn't glue it down at the base. Um, I don't even know if I want to add any flowers, uh, but I do want to add a little bit of more... Um, we need a title. I was going to go with um, what was I going to do? E excellent? No, egg egalicious. Egalicious. But I don't know if I'll have room. Let's do some stamping. So let's take I have these stamps from Lamore. These are the um, rugged edges. These are from um Lemore Weber and oh not that one Lemore Weber and uh, Indigo Blue as you can tell they are heavily loved we have we this one kind of matches that tape we used I don't think I want to use it let's use the hexagon hexagon one and you know I think I, I want to kind of do it in color so I'm gonna pull out my stampers big brush artist pens and actually let me let me do this real quick because I do want another piece of that of that fencing coming down so this can be drying while I'm messing with this other stuff so I'm just gonna cut off a piece of that again like I said just you know Go with what you got. Um, use up all these little pieces of scrap. Uh, we did add a little bit of gesso to it, so I'm going to grab that out real fast and plop a little gesso on there. We didn't completely cover it now, remember? 
and I believe the color we used was the green. So I've got my little paper towel here so I don't mess up my work surface. Let me do this. Okay, so we're going to let that kind of sit and do its thing. Maybe hit it with a little bit of this as well. And then we'll add that. Let me let me sit this to the side and let it dry a little bit. And then we'll add it to that layout in just a minute. Uh, where did the layout go? Let me pull it back out. Okay, so that's going to go in here. So until we get that down, I don't want to mess with that area any. Um, I'm loving this. This is so cool. Okay, so I think what I want to do is now pull out some. Let's do some. Hmm. Where's my stampers, big brush artist pens? Let's do let's do some turquoise. No, it'll clash with that. Let's do uh, purple. I like the purple. Um, and this is the stampers, big brush artist pen. And the um, I had to pick one I couldn't pronounce. Mang manganese violet 160. So, and I'll put all these colors on the follow-up post. So I'm just gonna kind of roughly, kind of add a little splotches here and it really truly helps if you actually stamp where you used the Stamper's Big Brush Artist Pen. <laughs> this color is a very light purple so I'm not sure if it's even going to show up and um, we may have to use a different color. It's very pale. It may not show up in the video. Can you guys see it? It's very pale. I think my chat is frozen. Oh, you can't see it. Um, I'll, it's very faint. So what I'll do is I'll add a different color. Let me find a darker one. Um, let me find a different. Let me see. Let me see. Let's try. I have a darker purple. Hang on. This is purple violet. Let's see if that one. Oh yeah, that one's going to show up. Um. Oh yeah. Oh, I got some on my picture. No worries. Just go with it. Notice I'm not re-inking. I'm just kind of laying the color down. Letting it just land where it lands. Kind of like a little boy. They sort of land where they land. Okay, there we go. So far. You like? See it? Let's add some text. Um, hmm. Let's see here. I hate to keep going back to that same script stamp, but that's the one I typically go to. Let me uh, pull one out real quick. Um... Oh, I love this one. Okay, this one is an old stamp. This is, remem it's called Rem Remember the Background, and it's made by Hampton Art. Um, I think you might still be able to find it in some places, but it basically talks about photographs. So we have a little bit of text going on in here in black. So keeping with the black, let's try the uh, Stamper's Big Brush Artist pen in the black. And um, for those of you unfamiliar with these pens, these are made with India ink. And they are, um, they go on to a prepped surface. Like, oh, oh, loving this. Oh, my goodness. They go on to a prepped surface uh, at, and, and they're blendable. But on a non-prepped surface, they're completely permanent. Um, hang on, this is 
so beautiful. Oh, look at how it added that little bit of texture, and we really didn't really didn't do anything. We're gonna have that um, that piece coming out down here. So I love how you can see it, but then you can't see it. All right, let's do this. Let's lift this and put some right there. Well, that didn't help. Well, let me ink it up again. Try it. This is how my brain works, guys. This is me. Let's try this. Well, let's do that. Okay, I'm loving that. Look at that. Just love it. Okay, um, don't write it upside down. And we're just adding texture. Okay, loving that. Where's my piece that I put to dry? Um, did you guys see where I put the piece I was supposed to be drying? <laughs> I've lost it. There it is. Okay. Um, it's really not, it doesn't have a whole lot of blue on it. It's kind of lost its blue goodness. But that's okay. I'm going to lift up, make sure it's going the same way. This is why you don't put a lot of glue down so that you can pick things up and kind of tuck them back down. See how now it's kind of descending and you see it a little more? Isn't that cool? And put a little bit of dot right there. And I think we're just about done here. Um, I need to add some journaling and I need to add a title before I get too crazy. I don't. I think I like Wonderful Life. I just might leave that as my title. I was going to put Eggalicious on here, but I think with the lettering I've got, it's going to be a little too big. Um, let's use up the rest of these rub-ons. We've got this negative space right here, so let's bring our washi tape back out. Isn't this a fun little boy layout, really? So let's take our washi tape and just kind of add a little bit right there. Go back around that way. I'll maybe do a couple of bands of it. And then let's rub on this other butter. No, no, let's do the bird. No, maybe that bird. Oh, the little bee. Which one do we want? Do we want the butterfly? I don't want the butterfly that close. We'll put the butterfly over here. What can we put right there? Now i got to think about it. Um, we do have, oh, we have this guy. Can pull this out. Moments or family? Um, oh, family memories. That could be my title. Here, we could do, um, and then do family, hmm, well shoot, that family's going the wrong direction. Let's put memories right there. I kind of like that there. Let's use a little bit of uh, gel medium and a little bit of I'm going to take just a hair of this gel medium and we're going to put that on it so it will hold it in place with a spot of hot glue and then that will keep it in place until the gel medium has a chance to dry. And I still think I'm going to put family over here. Same thing with this. I'm going to paint the back of this with the gel medium. 
The gel medium will help it stick for life and the hot glue will hold it down for now. Whoops. And we're almost done guys. Love it. Love it. Okay, now we have the rest of these rub-ons. I really want to stick this butterfly over here in this corner. So what I may do is end up putting this under here like this. And where did my popsicle stick go? Just use the back of this. I didn't want I started out wanting to put it there, but I think I'm gonna go with something else there because um I don't want the two butterflies to be too close to each other. Does that make sense? Well, that's not working worth the flip. Um, what happened to my popsicle stick? I think Amory snuck into my room and stole my popsicle stick. It's in the paper towel. What's in the paper towel? Oh, my popsicle stick isn't. Uh, you oh you were talking about my my other thing let's just use this guy are you guys having fun did you learn anything new Well, that doesn't want to stick right okay but look I love that look at how fun that is look at isn't it fun okay now let's do the last thing we're gonna do is add some more little bits of texture here and there I need to pull this uh, twine down so we can see it and then I'm just gonna come in with this guy um, let's put a little bit of this onto my sponge here and let's put it on my memories because it's just a little too little too bright just kind of tone it down and then um, let's maybe dot a little bit here maybe a little around the picture it's okay if it's on there maybe a little more over here we really want this to kind of be real grungy it's a little boy after all Maybe a little on here because this guy's just a little too bright too. Maybe tone some of these flowers down and stick them to towards the back. Make the focal point what we want to be the focal point. Not all of this other stuff. Okay, now here comes the fun part. This is the part I'm probably going to cringe, but this is the end. The end. The very last thing I'm going to do. Um... I'm going to take this gel medium and I'm going to add some like right in here, maybe right in here, like that, build, build it up really good. Like I don't want it to be too, too specific, but I want a lot of it. And then I'm going to take my, where did it go? Guys, prepare yourself this is going to be a big giant mess of goodness um this is that glass glitter and i need a bowl or a plate or something to stick it in or i'm gonna have it everywhere Oh, you need to get caught up on that. It um how fun is this? And you know what? This is just such a fun like boy layout and really truthfully it we have almost no product in it, you know?
Okay, now I, I really don't want that big glob of stuff. So even if I end up throwing this away, which I might, um, I'm going to kind of pick this up a little bit because the gel medium will dry clear. Um, but I really don't want globs of it everywhere. Do you know what I mean? So where you're seeing it kind of cloudy right now is not going to be cloudy once it's dry for sure. But I want to kind of cover up some of these holes that I've got. And I don't, I don't want it to be like um, super intentional looking. Does that make sense? Kind of just like a little boy, just kind of there. I love this. It, I'm loving it, loving it. Okay, one other thing. I think I need something right there. And let me see what it will be. Should we put flowers on here? I think it's okay to have flowers on a little boy thing, but I don't know. Um, what can I put up there? Maybe a paper clip or... Huh. What's in my die cuts? You guys know what I mean. I just need a little something... Hmm. Anybody have any suggestions of what I could put there? I wish I had an egg. I really love this. Um, I really love this uh, gl this uh, glass glitter because it's gonna look like um, it's gonna really look like kind of like Easter grass, I think, when it's all said and done. Maybe, um, oh, I know what. What about this label with the date on it? Yes. Perfect. These are just jewelry labels. And I think, let's put the date on it really fast. Um... This was four five fifteen. And let's cut this off. I'm almost done, guys. Good night, honey. We're well, I'm done. I think I'm done. I'm just gonna stick this right here. I love that. And then maybe put one of these little um I have cases and cases and cases of these uh, little tiny itty bitty clips. And I think that's what I'm going to put there. <laughs> Look at that. And I think I'm kind of done. What do you guys think? Kind of put that down. Now I need to add his name. So I have a real for real. Um, here, well, let's just handwrite it right here. Um, oh, I just love this. Maybe a few more splatters. What you guys think? I think we're done. And put some journaling on here. I think I'm done. 
I need to write his name on here. How am I going to do that? <laughs> I'm dying. Um... Let's see here. There we go. This is his first year hunting. I love it. What do you guys think? <laughs> so fun. Look at all of that texture. Isn't that fun? Guys, we did this in an hour. I'm serious. We did this <laughs> in an hour. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions? I will put a follow-up post that has all the products that I used tonight with some close-up photos. Um, I may have to wait a day or so to get the photos because um, tonight it's too dark and I don't know if um, I will be able to. Get some decent ones, but I'll try. Um, but look on my blog at psychomoms.com for a list of supply supplies. And uh, seriously, we use what a set of rub-ons, a chipboard, and a couple of pieces of metal. Um, the rest of it's paper and washi tape, things you have in your stash, uh, mists. So um, I encourage you to get out and look in your stash of goodness and see what you got and play around with these uh, elements and just have some fun with these little boy layouts. How many of you are new tonight? Like you've not come to the show before? Welcome. What's your what's your real name? Your first name? You're a Tanya stalker. <laughs> that sounds creepy. <laughs> I'm gonna stop the recording, but I'm gonna hang out if you guys will have any questions. Um, you know, as always in the recording, if you have any questions and you um, just want to ask just feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll try and get to them or visit my blog and leave a comment there on my blog uh, again my blog is psychomoms.com our next Ustream hi Teresa our next uh, Ustream will be on um, May the 4th so uh, make sure you come hang out you're a Tanya stalker I think I have a couple of Tanya stalkers in there in here <laughs> it's okay it's all good I have I have a, a list of people I stalk as well uh, so our next you stream will be May 4th at 8 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this channel I have gotten you started using your stash I am so glad that um, I'm convincing you good night everyone uh, again, I will link up all of the Julie's a, a Tanya stalker as well. I am going to link up all of the supplies over on my blog tomorrow, so you'll be able to see them. So make sure you check that follow-up post up. There, here's our final layout. Um, just so you can see it. I love how all that glass glitter looks in that. Isn't that pretty? 
Look at how fun this is. Lots of texture, lots of color, cute smiley face. Good night, everyone.